What's up, gang? Case here with our InGym Metcon for Wednesday, January 20th. Short, fast one today, eight minute AMRAP, 10 push ups for men, eight push ups for women. Then we've got 10 rotational slam balls, and then finishing up with 20 med ball cross climbers. New movement for most of us, so I'll go over that in a minute. On push ups, full range of motion is the goal. Detail here, but an, an important detail. Put your toes together, if at all possible. That's going to help you build a better plank position, working your core more. Chest and belly touch the ground, but keep those knees locked out. Butt and belly tight. Full extension at the top. Keep your fingertips forward, but we're putting that outward twist pressure towards those pinkies, and that's going to help keep that shoulder down away from the ear. Um, Shorter workout, not huge sets of push-ups today. So if you're someone who has been elevating to a higher height, start trying to maybe bring that push-up uh, down to a lower height or down to the ground. You, you can get to that uh, 10 by doing 4-4-2, breaking those sets up, going for a little bit more difficult version of that push-up. That said, keeping that plank, keeping your quads off the ground, uh, using that full range of motion is always going to be the most important point. So if you find yourself not being able to get to the ground or not being able to hold that plank position, then go ahead and elevate those push-ups up today. After that, we've got 10 rotational slams. Same thing here, not a huge set. So I want you to move through this quickly with a lot of power and also as much range of motion as possible. The taller you get at the top, the more you're gonna get that big stretch reflex. And then the more you bend those hips and knees, the more you're gonna work that core on that slam. So starting uh, with that back toe twisted, try to get those hips back so we're not rounding out as we pick this up. And then it's a jump position Get up tall in your toes, twist and slam. So from here, get tall, twist, slam, tall, twist. You're using your legs to jump. That's what carries the momentum of the ball to the top. And it's almost like you're having to pull down on that ball because you would lose it out of your hands uh, if you weren't using your core to pull and slam. Finishing up with 20 med ball cross climbers. Setting up in a med ball push-up position. Make sure those hips are level. Don't let them sag. Don't let them pike. And then from here, this is like a plank knee to elbow, but you're going to contact your opposite elbow. So we're working that core with more of a cross motion today. Try to get up high on that elbow as much as you can. That's going to give you a better uh, stimulus from the movement. But if you can't quite get that elbow, okay to contact just below uh, at the forearm. Just make sure you don't kick that forearm out. Replace one foot, then move the other leg. Don't make this like a mountain climber because then you'll lose that plank position and you won't get as much work out of the movement. Keeping intensity up on those first two movements and then really trying to hold that plank, keeping those hips flat as you cross that knee to that opposite elbow. Rounds and reps will be your score for today. Good luck, and we'll see you back tomorrow or on Friday uh, for our strength and conditioning work.